Hey guys, it's Rasmus Lindgren here. I just wanted to show you just how quickly you can create a professional looking sales funnel for your uh, automated webinar. So I'm logged into my ClickFunnels account here and I've just uh, clicked on create funnel and you can see there are some different kinds of funnels right here. So I will start out by selecting view advanced funnels because I know the automated webinars in here and you can see that here we have the automated webinar funnel. And this is the one I'll be using, but as you can see, there's a ton of other different funnels like a membership funnel and you also some, saw some others before. You can just click on all funnels and you know what, let me just do that. And you can see there's a ton of different funnel types you can create here. So let's just take a look at them like uh, a typical opt-in funnel, uh, funnel, a webinar funnel, the automated webinar funnel. So this is if you're doing like a live event and this is for if you're using like having an event, a recorded event each uh, each day and make it seem like it's a live event. You also have other stuff like a, a typical normal launch funnel, like with a four video sequence that has some free value video and then leading them to the, the, the last fourth video with a sales video and all of that. Uh, and you have different other types like a membership funnel. I won't go into all of these, but you can see there's a lot of different types of uh, funnels you can create. But let me get back to the automated webinar funnel that I'll show you in this uh, in this video here. Create on create this funnel. And now you get this kind of wizard up and running. And you can see there are some different type of pages that we need to create in this wizard. We need the registration page, then we need the confirmation page that now you're registered for the webinar, then we need the live broadcast room that isn't really live, but is showing like it's a live uh, uh, webinar, but it's just showing a recording. And then you have the replay room that you can, you know, send an email out to people and say, oh, you attended this live webinar yesterday, or perhaps you didn't see it. Now is the replay, replay live. So I'll just make this easy. I'll just choose this one over here, the Dylan Jones webinar sign up because I think it looks really, really good. Um, it's a nice design, but you can choose from all of these different templates. So I'll just use the Dylan Jones for now. Go to next step. Again, I'll choose the Dylan Jones thank you page here. Go to next page. I'll again select the Dylan Jones webinar room here. It looks really well. Nice design and all. And for the webinar replay room, I'll again choose the Dylan Jones webinar replay template. And that's it. I just need to name my uh, funnel here and I'll just call it um, webinar test and I'll have a tag called webinar oh. and I'll create the uh, funnel. And now in just a second, you will see that you actually have the full funnel for this webinar. It's now created all the pages that you need to do this funnel here. So you can see we start out with the registration page. We then have the webinar confirmation page. We have the webinar broadcast room and then the replay room. And we could just add down here, and that's what I typically do, add a sales page that you can lead people to. Now, the good thing here is that you can actually get the conversion percent between the different pages here. Right now, of course, the conversion is 0% because we haven't sent any traffic through this funnel. But you can see how well the individual steps are converting. Another thing I want you to brief, briefly to show you is that you can actually create a split test pretty easy. So even though, you know, I chose this Dylan Jones template here, if I wanted to uh, create a split test, I could simply click here and then I could choose, you know, to create uh, a split test using the same template and perhaps just changing some text or I could create a totally different, choose a totally different template. I'll just do that right now to show you, say, say if that uh, I didn't want to use the Dylan Jones for this one, but I wanted to test out uh, this down here. I'll just use this one here, create the, the page. And now I have a split testing working right out the bat. You can see I have my, my, uh, my, my original webinar registration page here, but I now also have this secondary uh, split test version that will now be split tested. So this is just to show you just how easy it is to create split tests in here. But for now, let me just delete this again and focus on showing you the designer and how easy the designer is to, to, uh, to do or to use. So now I have my registration page. I'll just click on edit here. And now you can see the editor, the heart of ClickFunnels here. And I'll just briefly walk you through. As you can see, as I hover over these different texts, I can just create them. 
or to change them. So if I wanted to say here, for instance, free webinar, Rasmus Lindgren presents, I'd simply edit that box and write, and that's it. It's really easy, it's changed right now. Oh, I'd also remove my yellow coloring, I can add that back. But here I can just change the headline. Let me just leave that, but add a few <laughs> exclamation marks here, and just leave that as it is right now. And I can go in here and say, uh, I want to change this image here of the presenter and I can either upload my own image or I can choose an image. I've already uploaded a ton of pictures. So let me just, you know, choose this one here and update elements. And you can see instantly my picture is down here and I'll probably also have to change my, <laughs> my name here. But you can see it's as easy as clicking something and just changing the text, really, really easy. Now, what you want to do, of course, is you want to integrate your autoresponder. So you need to select integration. Right now, I've integrated this with MailChimp and simple HTML forms. So um, if I wanted to do MailChimp, I can simply do MailChimp here and I can select the uh, add to a list. I can even add it to a list segment if I wanted to, but I'll just add the subscriber to a list and then I'll select the list that I want people to, um, to get into. I won't do that right now as an example. And also I need to change, uh, I just clicked on advanced here, what auto webinar times, when should this webinar play? So if I wanted to play multiple times per day, I can just enter the times here. So right now the webinar will play like it was live at 10 o'clock and 18 o'clock. And um, that, so it plays two times a day, but I could also, I typically just run the automated webinar once uh, a day because uh, I just have a, a targeted zone of perhaps in Denmark. But if you were tra trying to target, let's say, Australia and the US market and the European market, you might want to actually have a webinar that played several times a day to cater for those different uh, markets here. But I'll just leave that as it is right now. So right now, off the bat, I have this uh, webinar registration page here. And um, if I wanted to change individual elements, I could also just go into and show all elements here and I can see all the elements on the page. Actually, you can see if I go through, just mouse over these different things here, you can see that it changes all the fields that I can actually change. So if, say I wanted to uh, change the, um, the pop-up uh, opt-in form that it's getting here, I can't see that on the page here, I can just, uh, click on it here and find it that way around. So you can basically change all the elements if you go in and press all elements. And I can also instantly preview it. Now this is how it will look on a computer, but what if I'm on a tablet? I can just click on the preview here for a tablet. This is how it will look on my tablet. Looks really pretty nice still, right? How will it look on my mobile device, on my smartphone? I can just click here. And again, I can instantly see, I can instantly preview how would this look on a uh, mobile phone. Still looks fantastic, right? Let me just go up here again. So basically I just need to change the text here and I have my registration page. So I can you know, uh, save this page and I can see the funnel directly in here and say, okay, I've changed this page now. I can just go to the webinar confirmation page and change that one. Just click here and check, uh, save on the page, yes. And then we move over to the, the next page in the funnel. And I get this nice looking page here again. Seat booking confirmation successful booking. Congrats, you booked for the webinar. I mean, if I, I, you almost don't have to change this um, this page here. You just have to change the webinar title, perhaps, and, and a little bit here and the host names. But you basically don't have to change this page as at all, right? It's uh, it's all there for you. So that is basically how the the, the page designer is working. Just close this um, page here, and I'll show you another really really cool feature of uh, ClickFunnels. So now I'm back here on the, um, the, the funnel overview page where I can see all the different pages in my funnel here. And I just wanted to show you this because you can see here we have the auto registration page here. It has another thing here under here says emails. The other pages don't have that. But if I go up here and click on the show details under the uh, emails, I can actually see here what emails are being sent out. And you can see here, everyone will receive these three emails here. For instance, when they register, they will immediately be sent this registration confirmation email. When the webinar is starting, just one hour before the webinar is, uh, is starting, I will, you will receive this email called webinar starting now. But also one day or 24 hours before the webinar, they will receive this webinar reminder that, you know, remember that you need to show up in a day from now on. 
And then you can even go as far as saying, okay, if they missed the live webinar or the recorded webinar that acts as a live webinar, uh, you can send out this email here saying, did you miss yesterday's webinar? And you know, cater for that specific targeted audience. But you can also send it out an email to people who actually attended the webinar, but did not see the offer you had to display. So you'll send this, did you leave the webinar early uh, uh, email? And also, if they actually saw the offer but didn't purchase, you can even target that group. So this is a group of people who watched through the entire webinar, perhaps an hour or an hour and a half, and they stayed through the offer but didn't purchase. So they're cl in, clearly interested in your product, and you can cater for that by giving them a special offer or something like that. And you can even target uh, the, the people who actually purchased your product. How fantastic is this all from the same system where you're also creating the landing pages and registration pages and all the, the webinar pages. And I'll just show you this, um, just edit this uh, page, the email here and you can see here, I get in here and you can change the entire template. You can just change whatever you want. Uh, I typically change my emails here uh, to make it a bit more personal and also I don't want to, to show all of this with the click funnels and all of that, but basically, this is how you edit the email. You have a subject line and, and of course the condition as you saw before, what, what segment should you send this email to? And then the time sensitivity, uh, like should it occur before or after the webinar and so on. So this is how you create an email and change the email. So it's pretty, pretty basic and it's really, really easy to do. And you have all your numbers up here. So you can see how many actually viewed the page, how many actually converted the conversion rate. You can see how many leads you've collected from this uh, registration page. And of course you can edit the, um, uh, uh, the actual step in the funnel. So that was what I wanted to show you uh, on how to create an automated uh, webinar funnel. And you can see here, I mean, I didn't change all the text in, in this funnel here, but it's basically set up already and already working. And you can see here that I have the, the page name here directly, so I can just go and preview this page. And right now it's on uh, clickfunnels.com and it's kind of really ugly URL, but I can change this. So this is the last thing I'll show you how you can change that. I'm back in the page editor. And here on the page settings here, you can actually say what is the permalink URL, you can just call it, let's say registration here. And then you can actually select a subdomain, I've created a few ones primarily for my Danish website. So I have one called flow.rasmuslingren.dk and webinar dot Rasmus Lindgren. I'm not using this one, but I've used this one down here to do my Danish webinars. Uh, but you can attach, I think on the um, on the um, normal plan with them, I think you can attach up to three different um, custom domains with them. You can also, you know, do a primary domain, but I've just used these, um, these subdomains of my own uh, existing domains here. So that is how you can actually, so if I wanted you know, to choose this flow, rasmuslingren.dk slash registration, this is how I would do it. So I'll just update here and I'll uh, close the editor and I'll save before I exit. And now that I'm back here in the funnel overview, you can actually see here that I've now received a really nice looking URL here. I have it on my own domain, flow.rasmuslingren.dk slash registration. So that is how you put uh, the uh, the funnel on your own branded domain. So that was it. I mean, I didn't spend that many minutes on creating this funnel here. And of course, you will have to change the text of the individual pages. But as you saw, that is really, really easy to do. That was it for this video on just how easy it is to set up an automated webinar on ClickFunnels. And until I see you again, have an awesome kick ass day. See you soon. Bye bye.